We're listening to a work by Henry Purcell called O oh Solitude, which is a celebration of the meditative, contemplative life. And it forms the first piece of a new disc that Anna Tilbrook and I are putting together here in Potton Hall for Shandos Records. It is a work which allows us to begin to see the value of contemplation in life. This theme is continued with a work by Schubert, uh, where he sets some words of his friend Meyerhofer. The work's called Einsamkeit, which translates as solitude, and the whole work is quite a large piece. It lasts about 20 minutes and is in some ways Schubert's first song cycle. It's not very often recorded, and I don't know why, because it's a fantastic piece of music. And it charts life's journey from beginning to end through all sorts of excitements, uh, falling in love, going to war, and all the rest of it. But it ends in the forest, in a moment of oneness with nature, where we try to understand how thinking about our place in the world is a valuable thing to do. Barber's Hermit Songs are a set of ten little songs, which uh, the poetry of which is taken from the marginal jottings of Irish medieval manuscripts. They're wonderful little poems, and some of them are incredibly short, just a few seconds long. Um, the one that we're hearing at the moment is Panga, White Panga, about a scholar and a cat who live in peaceful harmony together in a monastery. For you it is hunting, for me study. Your shining eye watches the wall. My feeble eye is fixed on a book. A great excitement for us is to record a brand new work by Jonathan Dove. Jonathan Dove has written this work for Anna and me, and we're really privileged to be able to put down the first recording of this piece. We've performed it a few times now, and it's a work that we find incredibly moving. It's about grief, so another form of loneliness, one far from sought out, one that's thrust upon us and which we don't want. And the text is taken from Tennyson's In Memoriam, which is about Tennyson exploring his grief at the loss of his friend Arthur Hallam. It's an amazing piece and it goes from a failure to comprehend that Arthur can really be dead uh, through to rage that this has happened, through sadness, and eventually to some sort of understanding that Arthur's spirit lives on in the natural world, in every living thing, and that somehow we are all part of this great continuum of life that is all around us. My love. 